Hey guys, so today it's time for my bi-weekly makeup basket update. So this is my Shop My Stash series where I go through and pick out products that I want to rediscover, maybe reconnect with, if you will. A lot of them are things that maybe I haven't used in a while or I just um, feel like they're seasonally appropriate and I want to get some good use out of them. So I am going to give you a quick recap on the products that were in my makeup basket for the past two weeks. I'm wearing all of them today, so I'll have demos of all the products and how I use them today um, for this look. And then we'll go through my collection and pick out a new set of products that I'll be focusing on for the next two weeks. So the first product that I pulled in was my Kosas Revealer Foundation. Really just wanted to give myself permission to use this foundation because it is one of my favorites at the moment. Um, this is what I have on today, of course. I love the coverage level of this. It's a good medium coverage. It has a beautiful finish. I've said it before, but it reminds me a lot of my old favorite Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. Um, it's, it's just beautiful. It wears really nicely throughout the day. I like that it has a little bit of SPF in it for just a little boost of protection. So with that, I really enjoyed reaching for these past two weeks whenever I wasn't using my Project Pan Foundation. And then to go along with that, I had pulled in my Kosas Cloud Set Powder just because I felt like they would go nicely together. I like this powder. I've said before I I think it's fine but I don't think it's life-changing. I wouldn't I don't think I would buy it again if I lost it. It's kind of just another powder to me. I know I, I don't I just don't really see the magic of this. I mean it is a little bit blurring and smoothing on the skin but like so is my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powder and that one is like a fourth of the price. So yeah I was hoping that maybe by putting this into my makeup basket I would kind of discover what was so great about it, but I feel the same way now as I did before, so it's just whatever. I will continue to use it and enjoy it, but I just don't quite understand the hype on that one. So next, I also, I was going for kind of a cool tone springy vibe this time because a lot of times when we get into the spring and summer, I automatically gravitate towards like the warm peachy tones, but I decided to go the kind of cool like baby pink route this time with my blush. So I chose the, I mean, it's not really baby pink, but it's a cooler toned like soft pink. This is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Sweet Pea. This is such a nice blush. It really is. I'm very glad I picked this up recently. Yeah, it, it blends beautifully into the skin. It's matte, it's just easy to work with, and it's a really, really pretty kind of fresh, springy color. I'm really into these kind of lighter blushes recently, like light toned blushes, because they're just easier for me to work with, easier for me to pull off on my skin. I don't have to worry about going overboard. Yeah, I just, I feel like I'm gonna stick to, like in the future when I purchase blushes, I'm gonna stick to colors that are just, you know, closer to my skin tone like this, rather than like super bright vibrant blushes because it's this is just more my style so really loving that and by the way if you're wondering if you should get this versus the Milani rose powder blush this one is way better I used to have the Milani one I liked it for a while but I ended up just finding that that formula was so dry just like super dry it got hard pan really easily this is way softer easier to work with and it's just a more pleasant formula to apply so would recommend that over the Milani one any day. So I also pulled in my Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo in the shade Subtle Sunrise. This is a duo, duh, of highlighters. It has more of a golden toned highlighter and a more pinky toned highlighter. I think I found that at least the pink side can look a little bit too dark on me if I'm not careful. If I use a really light hand with it, it doesn't, but I did, I did realize that over the past two weeks. But um, today I'm wearing the more golden side, and this is such such a beautiful highlighter formula. It's so smooth, um, definitely reminiscent of like the Becca highlighters, maybe even a little bit more natural looking. Sometimes I will also just mix the two shades together too. If I can't decide which shade to use, I'll just mix them both. So really pretty highlighter there. All right, so let's talk about my eye look. So today's eye look didn't exactly go as planned, but I did use the two eyeshadow products that I had in my basket, the Sigma Enchanted Palette and the Becca Light Gleam primer and topper in the shade Refract. So the topper side I no longer use because it's gotten quite separated and I never liked it to begin with anyway. It's just a really tricky formula to work with. It never really dries down and then it creases. So I mainly just keep it for the blue side and I was actually thinking about decluttering this. If you saw Friday's declutter video, which I can link for if you missed it, um, this almost made it into that video, but I decided to hold on to it after wearing it as eyeliner today. I'll get into more of that in a second, but let's first talk about the Sigma Enchanted palette. So for today's look, kept it very, very simple. I 
set basically my entire lid from lid to brow bone with the matte cream color in here called Quartz. Then I just dusted a little bit of Innocent, the matte light, light pinky mauve shade in my crease. And then I used some of Sunburst in my inner corner. That's it for today's like eyeshadow. And then today, my plan was actually to do a double wing with this and my NYX Vivid Brights liquid liner in that pastel yellow shade, but I didn't like the way it turned out. I think in hindsight, I should have had the blue closer to my lash line and then the yellow above that, but instead I put the yellow closer to my lash line and then the blue above that, and I think having the lighter shade closer to my lashes just looked kind of odd. I think it would make more sense to have the blue since it's a little bit deeper defining my lash line and then the yellow above that. I don't know if any of that made sense, but I feel like you get what I'm saying. So what I ended up doing was just covering up the yellow with this and just having a super thick blue winged liner instead. It's a lot thicker than I would normally go, looks a little dramatic, but I really like this kind of dusty blue as a liner specifically. I also used this a couple of times as like an eyeshadow base and it was pretty for that. I don't know that I would keep this just for that purpose because it's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit too gray blue I feel like for that. I still liked the looks that I got. Um, one look I did with that, I wore this as a base and then I topped it with the um, light, like kind of rose gold from the Sigma Enchanted palette, kind of on the lid. That was the shade Budding here. And then I applied some of that light champagne color sunburst on top of that. That was pretty, definitely not my favorite look ever, but you know, it was fine. And then the other look I did was really similar to that, but I topped it with some of the shades from my Flower Beauty Desert Lights palette. I used the kind of rose gold shade and then I topped the center of the lid with the gold. But I think my favorite way to wear this is as a liner. Maybe not quite as thick as today's winged liner, but... So I think I am going to keep this after all, at least for the time being, because I just really like that color and I don't really have any other colors like that, even in the form of eyeshadows in my collection that I know of. So, so yeah, I was thinking about decluttering it, but I ended up talking myself out of it after seeing it as a winged liner today. Um, another look I did with the Sigma Enchanted palette this month was like a super simple matte mauve look. I did post a tutorial as a reel on my Instagram if you wanna see like more in depth how I got that look, but I basically just put the matte mauve shade Innocent all over my lid, blended it up into the crease. I applied actually both of these two shades in the inner corner, and then I used this kind of mid-toned taupe shade called Loam as my liner. So that was super simple. I've been just into kind of simpler eye looks these days. And then the other look that I did with this palette was a very like rosy pink shade. Um, I did I did mostly focus on the pinks in this palette. I don't think I used this like yellowy gold at all or like the greens, but I don't know. I just felt more, <laughs> more drawn to the pinks this time for some reason. But for this other look, I used Innocent in the crease and then a combination of plume and budding, these two like really shimmery pinks on my lid. Again, loam in the outer corner and sunburst on the inner corner. So those are my Sigma Enchanted looks that I did this month. This is a really fun palette for spring. Um, it has grown on me. I do think some of these shimmers are really nice. Some of them I'm not a huge fan of. Like I just think they could offer more, especially for the price of this palette. Like, not really a big fan of Metamorphosis or Cosmos, but the shimmers that are over on this end, I do really like. So, um, yeah. But that was fun to pull back out. I definitely think spring when I look at this palette, so glad that I did get a chance to use that some more this season. And then the last two products were a setting spray and a lipstick, actually both from Urban Decay. I had the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. I think they have discontinued this. Um, this is fine. I find it similar to the All Nighter, maybe a little bit more glowy. This is what I have on today. I do feel like it gives my skin a little bit of a glow, but it also feels like it sets my makeup into place. I'm not really sure how much of a difference it makes as far as wear time. I just, I really don't feel like any setting spray affects the wear time of my makeup that much. So anyway, but I am kind of low key trying to use this up. So that was fine, whatever. <laughs> no groundbreaking thoughts on that. And then finally the lipstick that I had in here was the Urban Decay Shine Vice Lipstick in the shade Local. This is what I have on right now. I'm gonna apply a little bit more just because I wanna bring some of that shine back. Mm, yeah. It has a really pretty kind of glossy finish, but as I've been talking, I do feel like that shine has kind of worn away. But the nice thing about this is even as the shine and like glossy finish wears away, 
it does kind of leave behind a lot of color. It sort of doesn't really stain your lips, like it will come off if you wipe it off, but it really does leave behind a long lasting color. So I do really like this formula and I like that kind of cool, more like purple toned nude that was fun to play with. And I felt like it went really well with the Sigma Enchanted palette. And with that dusty blue um, eyeshadow slash liner <laughs> from Becca, I feel like that makes a really pretty combo. Especially with my burgundy shirt, I wasn't sure how that would go with this whole look, but I feel like it works. So those are the eight products that I had in my makeup basket over the last month. I'm excited to pick out some new products, so let's go ahead and pick those out. All right, so as always, I like to start down here in the palette section. So I'm thinking for a palette. Um, this palette needs some love. This is the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. Um, as I mentioned in my last Shop My Stash video, I am kind of working my way through that list of palettes from my video all about the best palettes for spring. So I'm kind of just working my way through that. And this is one that I have not yet pulled into my makeup basket, but this is a perfect spring color story. So definitely want to pull that one in this time around. So that will be my palette. Um, let's go ahead and pick out a lip product as well. This is one that I feel like I haven't used in a while. This is from the brand Madame Glam. It's their lipstick in the shade Pucker Up. They, I think they discontinued their lipsticks a long time ago, but this is a really bright coral shade. And I just feel like I haven't used that in a very long time. I think it might go well with that Lost in Los Angeles palette. So let's grab that. So then we have cheek products in this drawer and this drawer. And let's see, I feel like I haven't been using my Milani Luminoso blush. This is such a classic. I need to figure out why I haven't been reaching for this. Is it because, I, like I've definitely been liking more like matte blushes recently. So I need to figure out if I'm still enjoying such a glowy blush. I don't know, because I feel like the last time I used this, it's been a while, but the last time I used it, I was kind of like, mm, that's a little maybe too glowy. I don't know. So I'm gonna kind of give that another try. I did really like this when I first got it, but I need to figure out what, what's going on with me and this blush right now. But um, I think that'll be a really pretty, like fun springy color too. Here's a, a highlighter that I haven't used in a while. This is another baked product from Estate. This is their Do Me Highlighter in Lit. Um, this is just a really nice kind of everyday like light golden highlighter and it's a nice subtle formula so I feel like this plus the Milani blush won't be like overkill on the glow. <laughs> so yeah, I've been meaning to pull this into my makeup basket at some point soon because I really do like this highlighter. All right, and I don't think I'm gonna pull in any cream products this time. Also, a little behind the scenes, I have this little basket here. This is mostly products that I tested out in that $5 and under video. These are just new products that I'm making a point to test out as well. So this is kind of like a separate makeup basket in addition to my Shop My Stash. But I don't normally have this, but I'm just trying to be better about remembering to test new products. So yeah, I have that as well. So then reaching into my base drawer, I think I'm gonna grab my Undone Beauty on Foundation Matte Tint. This is like a skin tint, as the name would imply. Um, and this, I, I don't know, I've been kind of in the mood for like lighter coverage recently. Just kind of a fresh, minimal look. I think it's we're getting into the warmer weather. I've been just into that. So that I'm going to grab. And then I'm also going to pull in my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. This is kind of a lighter coverage concealer. I feel like these two will go together nicely because they're both kind of lighter coverage. All right, so next I'm going to pick out an eyeliner to go along with my um, Lost in Los Angeles palette. Thinking, let's see. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I think this could be cute. This is the Urban Decay Fishbowl eyeshadow stick, but I feel like that could be cute even as like a one shadow look at some point this month, like just all over the lid. And then that might even be cute with that coral lip, like kind of sheared out. I think that might be cute. And I think that would also be really cute with this BH palette. All right, so that's seven products. I want to pick out one more because I like to have eight in here. Um, I know that's oddly specific, but it's just it's just a good number. So I'm actually gonna pull in my Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray, kind of for the same reason as like the Milani blush. I kind of just want to figure out what I think about this. I've only used it a couple times so far, and I'm not sure I love it. Um, in fact, I, I don't think I love it, but I want to figure out if I can make it work, if I you know, just kind of figure out what my thoughts are on this. So that'll be my eighth 
product. So that is my makeup basket for the next two weeks. This looks like a really fun, springy, fresh basket with the light coverage, the kind of coral cheek and lip, and then this fun pastel palette. Well, it's really more than pastel. Just a lot of fun colors in here. I think there are a lot of really pretty like one shadow looks. Like I think I'm gonna do a look where I just pop like Dreamer all over the lid. I think that'd be pretty and even like 90210. Um, that'll also go really well with my Project Pan pastel yellow liquid liner. So yeah, lots of fun ideas here. But that is gonna do it for this rotation. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. If you wanna see more videos like this, I will link my makeup basket playlist down below. But otherwise, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not already, and hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.